Well, hey, this is Chase Swift, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Exodus Crypto Wallet. So you're going to use your browser, and you're going to go to the website exodus.com. So E-X-O-D-U-S dot com. From there, you'll see this download button at the very top, and so you'll click on download, as I'm doing right now. And it'll come to the desktop and mobile version. This video tutorial is the desktop version. So you come down here and you'll choose this purple button and you'll download the appropriate operating system. So it has Windows, Mac, not many of you use Linux, but it's one of the two, Windows or Mac. That'll take a few moments to download and you'll see the download appear and generally in the bottom left of your browser. It'll take a few minutes to download. When it downloads, you'll want to install that downloaded file. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, all you need to do to install the app. I'm going to hide my browser for a moment and I'm going to bring up the Exodus uh, app that I've already downloaded onto my Mac. So I'll click Exodus and you can launch it from your desktop, from an icon or from the program menu inside your computer. Um, it's setting up and getting going so there may be an update. Don't worry about this. Exodus uh, actually updates quite often, so you can do it you know, every two or three months, something like that. Um, so I'll remind me myself later. So here is the main welcome screen. Now, the first thing you need to do is set up security. So on the top right, there's a light gray or dark gray um, icon that says settings, and I'm hovering over it right now. It's hard to see, but it's in the top corner. Click on settings once. Then you will get all these settings, such as assets, apps, and such. What you want to be on is the backup, okay? So then this is where you create your password. This is the one password to get into the app, into your wallet. It is not the backup phrase, which we will do as a second step. So there's two security steps. These are both very important. And so as it says here, you must remember your password. It cannot be recovered at all. If you forget it, it's not a happy day, okay? Your password protects your wallet. It should be different from your other passwords in case someone gets access to your computer. So I have a password in here. I'm going to type that in, okay? It'll show up in dots. You may want to type it out in like a Microsoft Word so you can see the password and know that it's correct and copy and paste it in to this uh, settings box here. Uh, however you do it, just make sure you type it in correctly. And you're going to have to do it one more time after you click next. So I'll click next. And it says memorize your password. It's time to practice your password. Remember, if you forget your password, there is no way to get it back. Again, you would need to write it down as you're creating your wallet. Make sure you've got your password memorized and it is different than any of your other passwords. So I'll type it in one more time. Okay, and then I'll go to next. If it doesn't continue, you've typed it in incorrectly once or twice. Okay, now this is a very important step. This 12 word phrase, and I'll read this from this little paragraph. Your 12 word recovery phrase allows you to recover or another way to say that is restore your wallet in case you ever lose access to it, like forgetting your password. Write down the words and I would say print them out. Writing them down is not good enough because sometimes spelling and uh, just uh, the way you write, sometimes a C looks like an E, if you get what I mean. So we're going to print it out in just a moment. So write it down. I'm going to say print it, the words in the correct order from 1 to 12 and store them somewhere safe, like a, a security uh, bank de deposit box. Uh, maybe you have a home safe. Maybe you have a very important place where you keep all your important documents in a, um, you know, a folder of some sort, uh, maybe in a, a file, file cabinet, things like that. Anyone with your recovery phrase can spend your funds. They can get in there and take it all, okay? Do not show it to anyone. So I'm going to hover over, you may have seen me hover over one word uh, just a few seconds ago. I'm just going to go to the fourth word and hover over it. It's quantum. So as you hover over these uh, letters, the word will appear. 
The better way to do it is to come over to the bottom where it says print phrase. This is ideal. And so uh, printing the phrase means it's printed correctly. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I strongly recommend you print this. Writing it down, you can be sloppy in your penmanship. And, you know, it's hard to know. Is, a, is that an E or a C or an O or whatever? Okay. So I'm going to click on print phrase. Now on a Mac or a PC, I'm on a Mac, you can actually print to a fac or to a PDF. Okay. So down in the bottom on a Mac, I cannot demonstrate a PC, but in the, in the dialog box, when you're printing to a PC, you have the option of printing to a printer, of course, and I would advise that. But if you don't have a printer, I would choose, there's a setting, uh, Microsoft PDF. Print to a PDF. It'll create a PDF file, much like I'm, what I'm about to do on my Mac. So I'm going to choose PDF, and then I'm going to save as PDF. Okay. And it's going to call this file exodus in the version 21.3.12 you might want to put your name on it so i'll put my name here okay and um this is going to be saved uh to my documents folder okay and um the uh the audio don't worry about videos here that's just the name of this account i'm in on my computer okay um that's pretty much all you need to do a pdf is an unchangeable document. It, it cannot be changed. It cannot be um, edited and, and changed. So it's a very safe way. But you need to print it. Do not just assume you have a PDF uh, and that's all you need. You need to print it. And I would strongly suggest you print it twice. Two good copies. Put them in paper bags. They even suggest that. And uh, that way there's no uh, damage from moisture or water and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, and it's going to be saved to my uh, desktop. Now, I'm going to blur this out, uh, what I'm about to do, but I'm going to bring up the PDF document on my uh, computer, go to my documents, and here's my Exodus PDF. So I would double check it for accuracy, and what you're going to see is this very nice printout, and I can see the 12 words. To print it out very nicely, you will not see this because it's blurred out. So it's my Exodus 12 word paper backup. This is crucial. You've got to have this printed out. There's no exceptions and at least twice and good copies that are printed well. If you don't have a printer, take the PDF on a flash drive and go to the library or go to a friend's house and say, can I borrow your printer? And print a document. Now don't show it to them, of course, if you don't trust them, but get this printed somewhere and print it out twice you can have it uh printed and given it to a, a, a friend or a family member that you trust seal it in, a, in an envelope and say if something happens to me open it then something to that effect again i'm just giving you ideas to have this paper document stored safely a couple different places you know very safe secure because you will not be able to get in if you forget your password by the way i would write your password on this document as well. So you can uh, write the password you created on this document and you're set. So I'll go ahead and close this PDF. I would print this and I would be done, okay? So um, I'm gonna go back to Exodus and uh, it will pick, a. it'll ask you for one of the words and actually I need to open it up. So uh, I'm gonna go to the next. And so there's 12 words. The next step, they're gonna question you and ask you, which one of these words, and I'm doing it now, so it's gonna check your paper back up and say which word, and by the way, we got lucky, didn't we? Because quantum was one of the words. So that was kind of cool. Um, I didn't know that would be it. So I can choose quantum because it was on my paper backup. So one of these words will be on the paper backup on the PDF. And you can look at the 12 words and say, oh, quantum was the one. If you don't get it right, it will not continue. So fortunately, I picked the right word moments ago, and we saw that on this uh, display. So I'll click Finish, and that was correct. And now your backup is complete, okay? So there is one more step. What you need to do is go up to the top left to this logo. It's the Exodus Home. It's the home of the app, okay? So you click there. We're gonna go to this wallet. The wallet is a purple icon with a little clasp Looks like a little paper uh, money in it. That's the wallet. 
You click once on wallet. The Bitcoin wallet, the most popular currency in the world, cryptocurrency, I should say, will come up. Okay, so it's also in this list across. So if you accidentally click, Bitcoin is listed right here. If you really don't find it, go to the magnifying glass, click on the magnifying glass, and then type BTC, and Bitcoin will come up, okay? So here we are at the Bitcoin wallet. The last step you need is for your receive address, okay? So you're gonna receive Bitcoin from CashFX. So you click on receive, okay? It'll load, this is called what's called a SegWit, segregated witness. Now, I don't, it doesn't matter what that is, but it's not the exact one that we want. It's more advanced, and it starts with a BC. See that? See, it's a BC. What we want is the traditional, what's called maybe the legacy address. The way you do that is come down to this right arrow, just to the right of the QR code, click once on the right arrow as I just did. This will change it to a Bitcoin address that starts with a one or a three, obviously. My, mine starts with a one. So click, um, you can actually click on the orange or click on this symbol over here and it says copy. When you click copy, it copies that to the clipboard, the memory of your computer. And it will copy one, C, Q, B, Q, all these letters and, and numbers ending in G, Z, J, H. That's your Bitcoin address. Basically your Bitcoin bank account, if I were to give you an analogy of a bank, okay? So we need to transfer that. We need to copy that by clicking the boxes, copy. And then bring up our browser, and hopefully you may be uh, logged into Cash Effects. I am on this tab. And I would go into uh, the account settings uh, of your back office in Cash Effects after you log in, and then go to Bitcoin Wallet. Click once on Bitcoin Wallet. Now I have another Bitcoin address here for my actual legacy, or I'm sorry, Exodus Wallet. So, I, but in your case, you're gonna have nothing there. What you would wanna do is right click and choose paste, as I will do. And you'll see that it brings in the one CQB, and at the very end, G, Z, J, H. Again, I can switch back to uh, the Exodus wallet and double check. So one CQB, these are all capitals and then G lowercase, and then uppercase Z, J, H. When I go back to the browser, I can double check that yes, those characters are exactly correct, and the characters at the end are also correct, so I know that I copied it correctly. This is important to do. The last step is your two-factor authentication code. So you want to get out your Google Authenticator, or you might be using Authy, on your browser, you need to prove who you are, that you're the accounter of this account. So you'll put in your Google Authenticator um, code, the six digit number that changes every 30 or 60 seconds. In case mine, uh, mine is 125314 right now, and I can hit enter, and it will save my changes to the Bitcoin wallet so that every time I make a withdrawal request, CFX will pay it to this Bitcoin address. So I'll click OK. And now this uh, Bitcoin address is changed. Um, in your case, it will be added to your account. And every time you make a withdrawal request under finance, request withdrawal, and I only think I have a dollar amazingly, but you would be able to make a re request of a withdrawal. And so it's going there here. Now I have another uh, pending request, so it won't actually work. But when you make a request, say a dollar seven, or it'd have to be over a hundred dollars, then it will go to that Bitcoin wallet. Again, you can check it under account, Bitcoin wallet, and you'll look at the letters there, one, it always starts with a one or a three, a few letters and numbers that you can memorize, and then the ones at the ends. And then you can go back to Exodus and double check that. Once you've done that, you know you're good. You will receive Bitcoin at that address every time from CFX, and you'll be set to go. So those are the steps. Primarily, the most important was going under settings and getting your password set up and your secret 12-word recovery phrase. Do not get any Bitcoin into this wallet until both of those 
are written down safely and secured uh, in a couple places so you know you have it all backed up. You can use this icon to go back to home at any time. And when you close this browse, uh, when you close this app, you'll have to enter your password that you wrote down on the piece of paper. So that's how to install and uh, how to use the Exodus wallet and how to enter the Bitcoin address into your back office of CashFX. This is Chase Swift. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.